Greetings, Checker family. It's Karen Miller here for Orafil USA. I'm the master educator and program coordinator for the Aura Philosophy Thread Education Program. I'm really excited to be here with you today to talk about tools uh, for your shop and for your customers. It, we're going to have a lot of fun and there's a lot of information to cover. So thank you for joining me. Let me um, share with you quickly a contact information screen. Uh, for you to get in touch with me if you need to. Again, I am a, a master educator and the Aura Philosophy Thread Education Program Coordinator for Orafil USA. You can see my email address and phone number there on the screen. Um, some of the things that I'm going to be referring to today are some website locations. Shop Resources website on the Orafil.com address, uh, the Orafil blog, and also a thread education reference to the Aura Philosophy program. But let's uh, begin our focus with tools to benefit your shop and your customers. I'll share this uh, reference information with you again at the end of the program. Okay, we're gonna begin by talking about the Orafil product brochure. This product brochure, this printed product brochure is available to you uh, to have in your shop. You're welcome to reach out to your checker representative to get a copy of it or multiple copies of it sent to you. You are going to absolutely adore the information that's inside of this product brochure. I want to go through it with you page by page, but mostly just highlighting the uh, the details about what is shared in here, because there is a wealth of information. Uh, maybe your customers are asking you, um, I'm not sure what weight to use to do my hand quilting. I'm not quite sure what needle I should use with that Orafil 12 weight. Maybe you're not even aware yourself of all the different weights of Orafil thread. So this product brochure is going to become your best friend. Uh, I've often recommended to shops to have one hanging nearby their Orafil display. Uh, ensure that all your uh, employees and yourself that you're very familiar with the content of it. Some shops have even had it laminated and um, affixed it to uh, a display nearby their Orafil uh, shelving units, so their display units. So let's jump right in. I'm going to share it via a PDF format. It is available for you to download via PDF on the shop resources page, uh, but I'm going to show you the PDF format now so that it's much easier and much clearer for you to uh, look through it with me. So let me do that now. Again, this is the Orafil product brochure. Uh, let's start with the cover page. Maybe uh, many of you may not know that Orafil produces five different weights of Orafil um, two-ply Egyptian cotton thread. On the front cover of the product brochure are four of those five, four or five of them. Um, Orafil also produces four different weights that are not two-ply threads. In some cases, they're not even cotton, so we're gonna cover those quickly as well. Inside the front cover, uh, it's gonna welcome the readers to say how lovely Orafil thread is. If you're a maker and an educator like myself, you're, you're, you'll probably completely agree with that, uh, that direction. Uh, but Orafil is adored by uh, quilters, sewists, textile artists alike across the globe. Um, Orafil was originally created back in 1983 um, when it was produced in Italy in order to use on the Orafil or the Studio Origa multi-head embroidery machines. Uh, that was Orafil 40 weight, the, the weight that's on the green spool. It's a two-ply 40 weight thread. And that was really the beginning of Orafil. Um, as you all know, thread is not just thread when it is Orafil. So let me jump into the details. Uh, on this particular screen, you're, you're going to see one of these screens for each weight of Orafil thread. There's a lot of amazing and key information for you to understand and for you to share with your customers. Let me just touch on a couple of those. First of all, uh, on each page, you're going to see the weight, of course, that we're discussing. And then you're going to see um, whether it's a two-ply thread or not right up here. The great information also is what needle to use on your machine, on your domestic machine with this particular weight of thread, and what needle to use on a long arm machine. Now, remember that the content that's printed here is 
recommended, but it's certainly not cast in stone. Uh, folks may have machines that like other needles than what Orafil is recommending, but know that you can at least use this as your beginner's guide. Um, a lot of times with the Orafil heavier weights of thread, like Orafil 12 weight, which is the heaviest thread that Orafil makes, um, you're going to, we're going to recommend that you use a top stitch needle. The reason that Orafil recommends that is because a top stitch needle has a groove all the way down the front of it. That groove gives your thread a fighting chance when it's going through multiple layers of fabric and batting and fusible and glue and applique and all the fun things we do with our quilt tops and our projects. So um, in, in this case, and maybe in the Orafil 28 weight case, we're going to recommend that you use a top stitch needle. And you must have a top stitch needle with an eye that's pretty large because you don't want to be shredding and breaking your thread because the eye is not large enough to have it pass through easily. So the needles are specified at the top of the screen as well. Needles for domestic machine, needles for long arm. The other key, well, there's a lot of key information on this page, but let me show one, one other thing. For every weight of thread, it's going to highlight how many colors are available in each of the three delivery mechanisms. So in this case, at the top here, we have a small spool of thread, we have large spools of thread, and we have a cone. So the Orofil 12 weight thread on the red spool is going to be delivered at 270 colors, regardless of what you purchase, whether you purchase a small spool, a large spool, or a cone. So that information is also outlined on each page for each weight of thread. Um, the other lovely thing that Orafil did was they color coded the page to the actual spool of thread. So I love that Orafil has color coded their spools. So if I see a red spool, I know it's a 12 weight thread. If I see a gray spool, I know it's a 28 weight thread. If I see an orange spool, I know it's our delicious 50 weight thread that we all completely adore and love and so on and so forth. So each page is gonna show you that 12 weight thread, red spool, it just, it's gonna be a part of every page that we cover. All right, last but not least, the uses for this particular weight of thread are outlined on the page as well. So you'll see that at the bottom. Well, sometimes it's, it's not always at the bottom, but you'll see that here. Just remember, I guess that, um, you know, Orofil thread, each weight of Orofil thread really can be used for any technique. It's just a matter, what I tell the folks that I work with is it's a matter of how much you want your thread to show, how much strength you need in your thread. Those are the types of things that are gonna determine maybe which weight of Orofil thread that you choose. When we're done with the primary pages in the brochure, the last page is worth its weight in gold because it's got a lot of information about uses and then how it maps back to weights of thread. So if you're at a complete loss for what to recommend for your customer, you can always dive into that page and hopefully get your answer. So moving forward then, Let's go on to the Orofil 28 weight thread. First of all, the 28 weight thread, now it's gonna be a little thinner than the Orofil 12 weight. The 12 weight was the thickest, 28 weight is a little thinner, a little bit lighter, um, and it is gonna come on a gray spool. All of the 28 weight comes on a gray spool. So you don't even have to look at the bottom of your spool to know what weight you have. I love that color coding that Orafil has. So at the top of the screen, again, the key things, right? Um, let me select a couple for you. Um, it's an Egyptian cotton two-ply thread. It, they recommend a 9014 top stitch needle. And again, the size of the needle you choose is going to be important because this thread is much thicker than most threads that you piece with or that you quilt with. Uh, so the, the, the size of the needle you choose is going to be very important. Oh, and something I missed with when I was talking about the 12 weight thread, what to put in your bobbin. Oh yes, that's very, very important. And it's highlighted on every page for every weight. So Orofil has a recommended bobbin weight of 40 or 50 weight when it comes to Orofil 28 weight thread. And um, the frugal person that I am, what I find is I can use 50 weight in the bobbin for almost every thing I stitch with on top. 
The only exception might be the Aurifil 12 weight thread where I may have to use something a little bit heavier in my bobbin, but that's just my two cents from years of experience of, of making and creating with Aurifil thread. Notice too that what needle we recommend for the long arm machine and what to put in your bobbin for the long arm machine is outlined on the page as well. Um, as I mentioned before, there's 270 colors of the 28 weight, but if you're not sure, you can always see that information on every one of these pages that I'm going to share with you, how many colors are available of that particular weight of thread. Because the page is showing a small spool, a large spool, and a cone, means that the 28 weight thread is delivered on all three of those mechanisms. So that's great to know. And generally, the more thread you buy, the more cost effective it's going to be to purchase that thread. So just a few things to keep in mind. And then finally, the uses, as we talked about, these are suggested uses. It's not, again, nothing cast in stone, but some really great um, inspiring uses that you can use for the Aurifil 28 weight thread. So let me move on now um, to the next page. And that would be the Aurifil 40 weight thread. In the, on the green spool. Now, as I mentioned when we first started, the Aurifil 40 weight thread was originally created back in 1983 um, when um, Mr. Gagati and Mr. Vernality got together and decided they wanted to source their own Egyptian cotton thread. So they came out and it developed Aurifil 40 weight thread, cotton thread to use in their multi-head embroidery machines for high fashion and fine linen production in Italy. So the 40 weight has been around for a long time. Uh, most people tend to use 50 weight as their multi-purpose weight, but the 40 weight comes in, it, you know, so many great cases. Such so for, for me personally, I love to use it to bind with. I love to use it when I want my dense machine quilting to show up a little bit more, have a, like a little bit of oomph to it. Love to use it for that. So 40 weight's been around forever. Uh, you're going to love to stitch with it. Let's talk about the basics. It's a green spool. It's a 40 weight two ply thread. Um, it's Egyptian cotton. Um, it's, we recommend using an, at least an 80-12 needle, whether you use a micro tech sharp or a top stitch or a quilting needle. Um, I personally wouldn't use a universal needle because I think the sharper the needle you use, the better off you are. So, um, but it does say that you can use a universal needle with it. Also at the top, um, put 40 or 50 weight in the bobbin. I would generally tend to put 50 weight in the bobbin because it's more cost effective to purchase 50 weight thread. And you can put a lot of Aurifil 50 weight on a bobbin. For your long arm, you could use a 3.5 needle or a 4.0. The 3.5 is plenty big enough for the long arm. Um, and also you could use the 50 weight or the 40 weight in your bobbin. Now again, for Aurifil 40 weight, there's 270 colors available in all three delivery mechanisms, small, large, and cone. And let's see, what else am I missing? Just the number of meters and yards, I guess I didn't talk about that for the last two weights, but that's also specified on the diagram. And then of course your recommended uses for the Aurifil 40 weight are outlined here as well. Okay, let's move up to our our beloved Aurifil 50 weight. And I'm sure that every shop that's watching today has Aurifil 50 weight in the shop. The reason you should, and probably the reason you did, is because everyone, all of those uh, machine piecers, love to piece with a flat and thin thread. Aurifil 2 ply 50 weight fits that bill wonderfully. Um, your seams with a two ply thread, your seams press more flat, your accuracy increases, um, you have less bulk. So that is one of the primary reasons that most quilters today use Aurifil 50 weight on the orange spool to do their piecing, machine piecing and um, hand piecing as well. Um, so let's talk about the basics then. It's uh, an 8012 needle is plenty big enough. I know some piecers that are extremely accurate piecers that love to use a 70 needle um, and a 7010 needle in their machine for their piecing because again the smaller the eye is here the more accuracy you'll gain from using any thread so uh, it's wonderful for a 70 needle is plenty large enough for the Aurifil 50 weight two ply um, um, 
whether it's a sharp or a denim or a uh, any other kind of needle, get one that's the sharpest you can get because the more accurate the point will be, the better off that you are. Using 50 weight in the bobbin when you're doing anything with Orafil 50 weight on top is highly recommended. Again, you can put a lot of Orafil 50 weight two ply thread in your bobbin and it is the most cost-effective thread to buy if I haven't already mentioned that. Um, in the long arm, a 4.0 needle uh, is plenty, plenty big enough. It's on the order of a, like a 110, 18 needle and it's way big enough. You could use something probably much smaller than that if you needed to. Trying to keep the hole uh, that you're putting through your fabric on the long arm as small as possible. Um, 270 colors in all three delivery mechanisms with Orafil 50 weight, a lot, a lot of yards and meters on your large spool on, on every mechanism. But one thing to remember, a lot of times in the shops, I'm sure you've heard people say, I can't afford to buy that spool of thread. It's a little too pricey for me. And those sort of comments. Remember to remind those customers that are saying that to compare the number of yards or meters on an Orofil large spool to what they may get on a three ply thread of roughly the same size. We're actually getting um, one third again more thread or sometimes half again more uh, thread on the Orofil spool than they are on the other cheaper or more inexpensive spools of thread. So keep that in mind when you're working through things like this with your customers. Um, here's uh, also the list of all the uses that you have for Orofil 50 weight. I think the uses are endless. Again, you can use any weight of Orofil thread to do almost any technique. It's just a matter of how much you want your thread to show, how strong you want your thread uh, how strong of a thread you need, and then also maybe just what your preferences are. So I always encourage people that take the Aura Philosophy Thread Education Program to, to buy a seven-pack spool of Aura Philosophy. It's got every two-ply weight in it, plus the floss, and give it a try. Use it, play with it, see how you like it, and that's really the best way to learn and grow uh, grow your skills. So let me move on. Um, we've now covered this 80 weight is the last two ply thread that we're going to talk about today. And that is in the brochure. The first thing you may notice about Orofil 80 weight is that it only comes on one size spool. And that's what we refer to as a small spool. Um, it has 300 yards and only, please also notice only 88 colors at this time. Um, the spool itself is a cherry wooden spool. It's got a pretty little hint of cherry color to it. Um, I think my understanding is that when Orofil came out with the 80 weight thread, they thought people would be mostly using it for handwork. So they didn't need large spools, large bulky cones. And so they just came out with this small spool. And what they found out, I think, is that people love to use it for needle turn applique. That would be me. I have the 80 weight collection to use for needle turn applique. I used to use 50 weight, but when 80 weight came out, it's like, oh, it's just so lovely to have your stitches disappear during your needle turn applique. Other people use it for English paper piecing. Um, myself and a few other free motion quilters that I'm friends with all use use it for free motion quilting when we want the detail to be very, very fine. The 80 weight lays down lo lovely for free motion quilting. Um, you can see other uses and other recommended uses for it above. Now what Orofil doesn't do on the product brochure is they don't recommend uh, hand needles. In any case, they don't recommend hand needles. So ask your customers to, you know, to use what they're used to using, or maybe you have your own recommendation for what they should use for a hand needle. So that information is not outlined here. Now let's move on to the other than two ply threads. Um, we're kicking off right here with wool, Orofil wool. It's half wool and half acrylic. It uh, comes in 192 colors across three different delivery mechanisms, small spool, large spool, and cone. One thing that sets the wool apart from the Orofil 12 weight cotton thread is that the wool thread doesn't have any cotton. <laughs> it's also not mercerized and it's not singed. So what that means to me and to you as a maker is that there's gonna be a little bit more lint showing on it or what Orofil would refer to as feathers. It gives it this beautiful, almost like a primitive or vintage look. 
It's very lovely. It's very strong because it has 50% acrylic in it. And it's just fun to work with. So you can see all the ideas for how you work with the Aurifil wool in the product brochure. Um, needle recommendations, bobbin recommendations, all of that is outlined on this one beautiful page. And let me map it back to Aurifil 12 weight cotton that's also on a red spool. The wool, since it's 12 weight and very heavy, is also on a red spool. Moving forward then, the Aurifil Cotton Floss, what is readily referred to as Aura Floss, is a six strand divisible floss that only comes on a pine wooden spool. What I love about the Aurifil Floss, I love that it's delivered on a spool because I can carry it with me in my travels, not have to worry about my skein getting all twisted or knotted. Um, I can still divide the strands for anywhere from one strand or use all six strands, just like I can with say a DMC floss, for example. There's 270 colors of Aurifil floss. It's a lovely amount of colors. And um, there's 18 yards on a small spool, which is the only delivery mechanism. So again, there's suggested uses here. Um, I've seen it used for smocking. I've seen it used uh, tremendously for cross stitch. And there's a lot of available free patterns for the cross stitch on the Aurifil website. Uh, it's just, it's, a, it's also a great multi-purpose um, thread for embroidery or any other sort of handwork. Okay, rounding it out, finally, through the Aurifil product brochure, two more weights. Let's start with the 40 weight three ply thread. I mentioned that 40 weight two ply on the green spool was the very first thread that Aurifil developed. Well, in the last few years, they've decided to add another strand of 40 weight to, to their uh, collections, I guess we can say. So they've added one more strand of 40 weight, three plies all together to this beautiful yellow cone for long arm use mostly, but actually I think you'll see a lot of people that are using it on their home machines and are also using it for handwork. But it is our original 40 weight thread with one additional ply, so it's 40 weight three ply. You may see folks refer to it as 40 slash three or 40 dash three, but it is our original 40 weight thread with one extra strand added. Um, you'll see at the top then that it says it's a three ply thread. It also recommends needle sizes for a domestic machine and long arm and also bobbin recommendations. Um, I've used 40 weight three ply in both the long arm and a domestic machine with Aurifil 50 weight in the bobbin and it works wonderfully. Um, if you wanna try to level out your weights between top and bobbin a little bit, you could always use Aurifil 40 weight two ply in your bobbin, or you could still use Aurifil 40 weight three ply in the bobbin. It's all, all, the, all these personalized choices that we get these days. There are more than 50 colors of Aurifil 40 weight three ply. I think we've added about 26 more colors. So that will be updated the next time the product brochure comes out because we added some beautiful Aurifil variegated to the 40 weight three ply selection. So it's increased the number of colors significantly. You'll see there's a lot of meters and yards on that cone of Aurifil 40 weight three ply and you'll see the recommended uses for it. Um, I've used it many times on a long arm. Uh, I love to use the multi-range needle, an MR needle. And I find that I can stitch left to right, right to left, any direction, and it works wonderfully. Um, people also use it by hand. If you compare weight thickness to thickness, 40 weight with three strands or three plies in it is very comparable to Aurifil 28 weight with two strands in it. So keep that in mind, the thickness alone. But the strength of the 43 will be a little bit stronger because it has that one extra strand in it, so keep that in mind as well. Okay, let's move down to Aurifil monofilament. I call the monofilament thread the unsung hero, and I've written about that um, on the Aurifil blog, or the Aura Buzz blog, under the thread matters ca category. Um, I love to use, personally, I love to use monofilament when I don't wanna have to match my thread color to whatever it is I'm doing. If it's quilting or couching, or applique, or uh, any number of uses. The monofilament lays down beautifully on fabric or wool or, or, or any really background, and it takes on the color of the fabric that's behind it. So I've used it many times for long arm quilting, many times to stitch down applique that I didn't want anyone to be able to see my actual stitches. Um, you have to 
decrease your tension a little bit when you're using monofilament. You don't want to stretch it. It is very stretchable, <laughs> but it is so much fun to use. And be sure to reference the Unsung Hero blog post about Orafil monofilament. It'll give you a wealth of information for different ways to use it. Note though that monofilament only comes on a cone and on what we refer to as a large spool. Although because it's nylon, it looks a little bit different than our cotton large spools. So um, information about needles and bobbins above and just you're gonna love this product for sure. Uh, let me move forward to the last page because I think this page is also worth its weight in gold. It has a list of multiple different uses down one side and then across the top, it has the cotton two ply threads, it has the wool thread, the 40 weight three ply thread and the monofilament thread specified. So let me just pick um, one of the columns. Let me see. Maybe I wonder how what I should use for cross stitching. So I go down the uses side looking for cross stitching, and I can find that I can use Orafil. Twelve weight is highly recommended. Twelve weight has three stars or three um, dots next to it, so it's highly recommended for um, cross stitch. Floss is also recommended for cross stitch, and also Orafil 12 weight is recommended for cross stitch. So if someone comes in and says, I'd like to know what I should be using for hand embroidery, or maybe for hand quilting, or maybe to run through my serger, this chart is going to give you a starting point to help your customer out. And that is the main reason why I love, love this particular chart. Now you may need your glasses on to be able to read it, but it is worth its weight in gold. So that rounds out the Orafil product brochure. It's something that you should have in your toolkit at your shop available for your customers. Just reach out to your, um, uh, your checker representative to get more information about it, all right? great tool to have. Um, it also is available to download via PDF from the shop resources page I mentioned earlier in the presentation. Okay, we're running short on time. Let's two more things to cover. The Aurafil color card. Now this thing, this is like my absolute favorite thing, the Aurafil color card. There's one that was produced in 2021. You may, we want to make sure that you're getting that one, but let me show you the inside of it. This is one that I use quite often. It has actually literally real thread wound on the color card. So it's very, uh, very nice to have, very easy to match the colors that you need to match. And it also has washing instructions in it. And um, the one thing I love about the latest color card, let me show you, let me show you with the PDF. Let me do a quick screen share and show you the PDF because I think you can see it much easier. Whoopsie. This is the color card laid out just without any folds in it. And let's look at the next page because I love what Orafil did with this latest coloring card. So I mentioned that the 80 weight thread doesn't have all the colors. It only has 88 colors. So you can use this column here on the left-hand side to find all the colors that are available for Orafil 80 weight. Um, over on the far right, you can use the last column, the, uh, the last page in a sense, to identify all the colors that 40 weight three ply comes in. So I love, love, love the fact that I can now look at one color card to find all the different colors that I need, whether for, for the cotton threads. Now it doesn't apply to wool, just so you know, the wool color numbers are a little bit different, but it does apply to all of the cotton availability. So that's really fun. It also gives you washing rules uh, for each type of uh, color that's in there and how the dyeing was done for those types of colors. So another wealth of information in the Orafil color card. I think what you'll find if you have a lot of customers that love Orafil, they will absolutely adore purchasing this color card from you because um, I it's just a lovely thing to have with your toolkit when you're at home and you're stitching and you know you're going to need a particular thread. Um, this is the way to go. Sell these in your shop, and your checker representative can help you with that. Know also that there is, excuse me while I reinstall my earbuds, uh, there is also a printed version of the color card available, and you can reach out to your checker representative for the printed version uh, available as well. Okay, quickly though, I want to share with you three slides that come directly from our Aura Philosophy presentation. 
the Aura Philosophy presentation is a paid thread education presentation that 34 certified educators are uh, available to give to your shop. Now, it's a paid program between, it's a basically a no negotiation between yourself and your Aura Philosopher, whichever one you choose. Um, you can go to AuraPhilosophy.com backslash, or, I'm sorry, AuraPhil.com backslash Aura Philosophy to find all those folks globally that are certified to teach our philosophy. But what we've done is pulled just three charts out of this 60 some page presentation that also shows you amazingly inspiring projects. And we thought it would be great for the shop to be able to print these pages and have it available for your customers in your shop. So let me just quickly share those pages. Here we are. This is one of the three pages and all it, really the intent of the page is to show how Orafel has color coded their spools to uh, directly correlate back to a weight. So the red spool is the 12 weight, the thickest weight. The um, cherry wooden spool is the 80 weight, the thinnest weight to ply thread that Orafel makes. And then you can see everything in between. Next page then, this is the other than two ply threads. This is your 12 weight wool, your six strand divisible floss on a pine wooden spool. The yellow cone only comes, the Orofil 40 weight three ply only comes in a cone and it's a yellow cone. And then the Orofil monofilament that always comes on a white uh, on a white spool. So again, it helps customers begin to correlate the color of the spool back to what's on the spool without having to look at a label. But speaking of labels, here's a quick blow up of what the label, all the information that the label includes on the bottom of the Orafel thread. Um, for me, the main thing is, you know, the thread, the, the color number. If I'm using my favorite butter color, 2130, I want to know that it's 2130 and I want to know that I should just reorder 2130. Um, the other neat thing to note here is that if the word Mako is on the bottom of your spool, you know it's cotton because the cotton is grown in the Mako region of Egypt along the River Nile. If this were a wool spool of 12 weight thread, it would say either lana or wool. So just an FYI. And let me show you one other fun thing about the Orafil large schools, in case you weren't aware. Let me stop my share. One other last thing. On a large spool of Orafil thread, only on the large spools, the bottom flange twists off. And my right hand is a little weaker than my left hand. So let me twist with my left hand. That bottom flange just twists right off. And you're always going to find the beginning of your spool of thread underneath the flange. Many people, including myself, especially if I'm traveling with multiple spools, I'll wrap the bottom of the thread back in here before I put the flange back on. And I'll be sure not to put the flange on too tight. I've seen in the past where if the flange is on too tight, it'll actually restrict your thread from coming off the bottom and it could possibly lead to your thread breaking. So something to keep in mind. Um, okay, so that's a lot of information in a short period of time. Let me stop with uh, sharing my contact information again. Okay, here it is. Um, you can email me at karen at orafilusa.com. Uh, you can, here's my phone number. That is actually my cell phone number. So if I, for some reason I don't answer, just text me. So I know who it is that's calling and I'd be happy to chat with you. Know that you can get the Orafil product brochure, the Orafil color card for sale, the one with actually has thread in it and the Orafil printed color card from your checker representative. Uh, know that you have an amazing array of information available online at this shop resources link here. It's orafil.com backslash shop dash resources for shops only. It's not going to be found in any drop down on your Orafil page. You need to type the URL in. Um, you'll get images of thread there. You'll get logos that you can use. You'll find media information. You'll find free patterns. You'll just, you'll find color cards and the PDF formats of some of the things that I've shown you. So a lot of great information there. Also, I mentioned the Orafil blog. If you and your customers are not subscribing to it, you really, really should. The Orafil blog has always a tremendous amount of it 
of inspiration and information. The Aura Philosophers have a uh, category they call Thread Matters that we've been sponsoring for some years now, where every month another Aura Philosopher like myself will share information that we've learned about how to use Aura Fell Thread tips, tricks, sometimes free patterns, just a, a wealth of information there. So be sure to check the Aura Fell blog out for uh, AuraBuzz.com. Finally, Thread Education, if you want to bring it into your shop, I would highly recommend looking into an Aura Philosopher, bringing one to your shop. If you need help shopping for an Aura Philosopher, that's my role. Please feel free to email me and I'd be happy to help you with that. Um, and finally, thanks again for joining us today, Checker family. It was a joy to be with you. There's always a wealth of information to, or, to share about Aura Fill Thread. We also have projects and trunk shows and all sorts of fun things. So uh, I'm Karen Miller. I'm going to sign off. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I would, I can um, have access to the comments too. Would be happy to try to answer your questions there or feel free to email me and have a, have a great day and you take good care. <laughs>